So COVID has had a tremendous um, effect on our society in many different ways. And the only way in which we're going to really manage this particular pandemic is by the presence of vaccines. Vaccines are really critical for us to achieve what we call community or herd immunity. And we do know that not everybody will respond, but if we achieve the highest possible level of the immunity, we will be able to control this particular pandemic. And again, we must remember that it's not just about preventing infection, it's also about preventing future transmission as well. So vaccines are really critical for us. So these vaccines are what we call highly efficacious. In other words, we know that from the various clinical trials that protection is really effective. However, not all individuals amount a response to these particular vaccines. So it is possible that there are a few a limited number of individuals that may not have amounted what we call an immune response, and so they may well um, be infected. But even so saying, there are individuals who have mounted a response but will get what we call a mild disease. But it's such that if you get a more severe disease, this vaccine will still protect you. So individuals that have experienced the COVID infections, it's still recommended that in fact you do get a vaccine. And the reason for saying that is that there's mounting evidence to show that in response to the vaccine, in fact, your immune responses will be enhanced. So it's really recommended that if you've had the disease, please still get the vaccine. So I know that this applies to flu vaccines as well. People say that when they get the flu vaccine, they experience flu, but that's not the case. It's really the side effects of the flu vaccine. And these are really about the immune responses to the flu vaccines. In other words, your body is doing what it's supposed to do. It's responding to what is regarded as a foreign agent by mounting an immune response. In the main, when you have a vaccine, such as the COVID-19 vaccines, you may not experience any side effects at all. But there are cases where you will experience side effects. And these can be so-called common side effects. And the common side effects are either localized, they're localized to, for example, the site of the injection. So you can experience some pain, a bit of swelling, as good examples. But they're also what are called generalized um, side effects of the, the vaccine. That can, could, could include, for example, fever, chills, tiredness. Um, those are the main ones that I think that you may well experience. And again, they will appear within, say, 24 hours. The side effects should clear up within, uh, for example, seven days. But if they persist or you are concerned, then obviously I would recommend seeing your, your healthcare worker. <laughs>